Hello and welcome back to some more Like a Dragon Gaiden. Uh, this is the second part. Uh, we are just chilling at the port and yeah, I can't exactly remember what we have to do but Here we go. Hey! Where do you think you're going? I'm not going anywhere. Just stretching my legs. Don't abandon your post like that. I'm covering this area. Get back where you belong. Right. Same old story. No matter how great you are, age turns us all into miserable old bastards. Even the dragon of Dojima. Kazuma Kiryu, the fourth chairman of the Tojo clan. For ten this minutes. Been three years now? I actually played a small part in faking your death. <laughs> what a pain in the ass that was. Still never got any thanks for it. What? No need to play dumb. We work for the same people. Nobody cares whether some Yakuza is dead or alive. But this has got me wondering. Is the legendary Yakuza as strong as they say? You were the number one brawler in town, weren't you? Think you could go toe to toe with a bunch of tough guys like us? Absolutely. Oh, I see. So that's how it's gonna be. What is? You want me to go back to my post? Or you want me to take the bait? Doesn't matter to me. <laughs> All right, that's what I'm talking about. Don't go too hard on him just because he's Yakuza. Hold back a little, all right? Oh, there's no way the legendary dragon could be that weak. And if he was, how would he live with himself? Yeah, that's a good question. Okay, you ready? Why don't we start off with some nice, slow right jabs? Just promise me you won't go down in one hit. <laughs> Here it comes! No, oh, I don't need tutorials. I know. Let's go. difficult damn it hey what are you morons doing don't just stand there kick this guy's ass huh. right this job turned out to be more fun than I thought mm -hmm. I know Oh, thank you very much. Huh. How the hell did he take all of us on by himself? Who is he? Looks like you enjoyed yourselves. Can you return to your posts now? Fortunately, the truck seems to be running a little late. I'll pretend I didn't see you goofing off. Loser. You're looking more like a technical fighter now. Well, neutralizing the enemy methodically is smarter than a street fight, is it not? I only bothered to learn it to kill time at the temple. I was only killing time with this fight, too. Same story for the rest of my life. I can't say I'll ever understand someone who lives to fight others. Then keep your nose out of it. Huh. I'll be careful in the future.
Who are you? Is this going to be an issue? It looks like everyone here knows who I am now. It's not a problem, provided it doesn't get out. You have a lot of faith in the Daidoji. Maybe too much, if you ask me. No organization is perfect, but we're certainly better than the Tojo clan. Oh. They were wiped out in the Kamurocho cleanup operation two years ago. Because of the governor's so-called 3K plan, the chairman and his officers were the first to disappear. Now, the Omi Alliance has taken over Kamurocho, and the man who pulled the trigger on it all was a trifling Tojo clan officer, Masumi Harakawa. If one traitor can bring down an entire clan, then perhaps the foundations were fragile to begin with. We intend to learn from their mistakes. Uh, I say one thing and this is what I get from you, huh? All right. I'll refrain from insulting the Tojo clan any further. It's the organization you devoted the majority of your life to, after all. Not only my own. All of the people I've cared about. Their lives are tied to the Tojo clan. For all that to go up in smoke, I still can't believe it's real. I don't think this will come as any consolation, but... Hmm? The days when Yakuza could go strutting around in the open or over. I think the Tojo clan was destined to disappear no matter what. Inevitably, the Omi Alliance pushing in from Kansai will suffer the same fate as well. It's only a matter of time. You were right. About what? There was no consolation. Hmm. Sorry to hear that. The truck's here. It's ten minutes behind schedule. Copy that. See anything else? There's a van guiding the truck. Is that okay? The truck didn't come by itself. Negative. It's with a black van. The truck's following it. Stuffed them both immediately. Another vehicle wasn't part of the plan. <laughs> hey! Stop! Empty. The deal's off. I repeat, the deal's off. Everyone offside. Pull out now. Pull out. <laughs> Let's get this started.
There we go. Figure it out later. Can you stand? They, they tried uh, to kidnap me. But why? How do I? Yes. I suppose it's time I fight back. Let me help you. Right. Glad to hear it. You okay, Hanawa? Still with me? Yes. Somehow. How are your injuries? We can worry about that later. First, we have to get out of here. And fast. The police and fire department will be here any minute. We can't afford to be seen. If you're lucid enough to strategize like that, then you can't be too bad off. Hanawa-san, the assailants escaped. We have many injured. Three fatalities. What? I see. Hurry! The fire department's almost here! Super dead. Super dead. One of the agents who died at the dock was the man who picked a fight with you. He got what was coming to him, you could say. 
All three deaths were caused by blunt trauma to the head, had their skulls caved in with a metal bat. It's as though the attackers didn't care if they lived or died. What about the bodies? We've taken care of them. There'll be nothing in the news either. There's always a risk of this kind of incident. That's why we use people whose deaths won't raise a fuss. People just like you. Hmm. Huh. Here. No fucking way. Kill you. What is it? Uh, don't worry about it. Do my to press X. Hanoa, any idea who those guys in masks were last night? One would think they would be connected to the client who proposed this deal. The revolutionary in Asia. Only he or the CIA could have gotten men on that truck beforehand. And if it were the CIA, they wouldn't need to go to such lengths to abduct me. The revolutionary. When we reached out to him, he firmly denied any involvement. Of course he did. Apparently, this plan to smuggle gold took him by surprise. Says he hasn't asked the CIA a thing. What? A working theory is that a bad actor, let's call him Mr. X, impersonated the revolutionary. And then went to the CIA with this bogus deal, which then led them to get us involved. Mr. X's objective must have been to abduct me. Why you? I haven't the slightest. I'm nothing but a cog in this organization. There would be no point in staging all this just for me. Unless we talk to this Mr. X, we won't know what really happened last night. The full weight of the Daidoji faction has been searching high and low, but so far, We've come up with zero clues. I can't imagine the Daidoji mobilizing all their resources for a so-called cog. Huh. You don't mince words, do you? But you're not incorrect. Which is why I decided to launch my own little investigation through other avenues. And the reason I've come here today. Hmm. Didn't you notice? Several of the masked men had tattoos. In particular, the man in the Hanya mask who killed our agents had quite the extravagant one. Didn't see that. Guess we didn't cross paths. It appeared to be of quite fine quality, which would suggest he's a Yakuza from a rather important family. So? There's an old family in Yokohama called the Seiryu clan. Perhaps they were involved with this attack. Can you look into it? Of course, I'm not asking you to waltz into their office. Wait, we can't assume it was local Yakuza just because someone had a tattoo. If this is your lead on Mr. X, I'd say it's a pretty weak one. Trey. I agree. Which is why I have other agents investigating more promising leads. But who better to look into Yakuza than you? I'd like to pursue every possibility and determine the truth as quickly as possible. All right, then. Got it. Are we all set? Under one condition. I'm interested in this Mr. X's identity myself. If you learn anything, fill me in. It's rare to see you so enthusiastic. Are you worried they might come after me again? If so, I'm touched. Yeah, maybe I am. Kind of you to pretend. In any case, do be careful. There may be people in the Seriyu clan who know your face. For now, find out what's going on at their office. You can observe them from a distance.
let's go find the Serio clan. It's that stupid statue over there. <laughs> Pawn shop. <laughs> Useless. Don't need to worry about that now. Let's go. How you get a ball down? <laughs> to prepare for what? There's not much going on. Yo! What's with you? Hey, going somewhere special, Anaki? Back to that soap land? Shut it. It's work-related. You're giving people the wrong idea. <laughs> My bad. Screw it. I'll take you with me. Expect anything anyway. We've been caught. Hey, you! What are you doing with your nose up in our goddamn business? Who are you? Don't give me that. You know damn well we're the Seryu clan. Calm down. I'm just having a little smoke break. Sorry if I caused the misunderstanding. Yeah, okay. Maybe I would have believed you if you weren't so calm in the face of Yakuza. All right, I'm leaving. Will that work for you? Hell no. Not until you tell us why you were staring at her office. We'll even give you a tour. Come on, don't be shy. Not like you're gonna learn anything from way over here. Oh, and by the way, you're one of them Daidoji, aren't you? What? <laughs> now we get a reaction out of you. <laughs> what are you talking about? Just got an anonymous message. Came here with this photo. Says you work for the Daidoji, too. Real polite-like. 
You were spying on us, but it looks like someone else was spying on you the whole time. Not so smart, are you? So, who the hell are the Daidoji? And what do they want with us? Can you not deny? You know who sent you that photo? They say anything else? Nah, nothing. But they were right on the money about you snooping around here. Take this! Bastard! I'm interested in knowing who sent you that photo. But I have no business with you. Let me pass. You must be a real bird brain if you think I'd buy that. Let's go. Get I need to know who snitched. Piece of shit! Any chance you guys visited any docks last night? What? Hell if I know. Yeah, thought so. Is today the first time you got a message from this guy? Why the hell should I tell you anything? I suppose you shouldn't. How about you forget about me, and I'll forget about this. You wouldn't want it getting out that you failed ganging up on a spy, would you? <laughs> Seems like true. a bad look for the Seiryu clan. Ugh. Either way, we won't be seeing each other again. Sorry for the trouble. Hey! You get your ass back here! You think this is over? Hey! Seryu clan had nothing to do with the attack. Most likely. But you never thought they did, did you? More importantly, it appears someone is watching me. Someone who knows I'm working for the Daidoji. Right. The sender of the anonymous message. From the timing, we can assume they're connected to the attack on the dock. Must be Mr. X himself. Or someone working with him. Furthermore, they could be watching you as we speak, correct? Yeah. Just feel like I've got eyes on me. Guess they've been tailing me for a while. Can you lose them? I could try, but this is our first solid lead. There's a better way to handle this, isn't there? Such as? I'll leave them somewhere nice and quiet, then grab them. Once I shake them up, I'll see what they know about Mr. X. Can't be more than two men tailing me. A simple task. I see. Indeed, I suppose that would be no problem for you. All right, then. I'll head to where you are. Do be careful. You've got business with me, don't you? There was more of them than I thought. We ain't gonna hurt you. Just come with us nice and quiet. We already know who you are. Had a feeling your death was a pile of horseshit. Keep you some. 
I don't know what you're talking about. You must be thinking of someone else. But... I'm about to find out exactly who you are. Tough enough to make demands, are you? Sure you're all right showing me your face? Everyone else is too shy. I ain't your enemy. But you think we could talk someplace else? Someone from Daidoji is on his way here, ain't he? Who knows? Like I said, I have no idea what you're talking about. <clears throat> if you're gonna play dumb, we'll just have to put an end to your act with our fists. You guys ready? You're going up against the dragon of Dojima. Go at him like you mean to kill or you'll regret it. Now, get him, boys! Hell yeah! Got it, boss! Bunch of lasers. Let's go. <laughs> Fight down. Finally got to see your pretty face, Kiryu san. Now it's gotten interesting. So your friends were just the opening act then. Who are you guys? It ain't too late. Just come with us and we'll tell you everything. Afraid I can't do that. Figured as much. That's the dragon of Dojima for you. Mine in a safe. Ready for this. <laughs> 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 oh, I love the ragdoll. <sighs> Who are you? Just Osaka and travelers. From the Omi Alliance. You say you're not Kazuma Kiryu. But you sure know the Omi Alliance, don't you? Everyone does. What are the Omi doing in Yokohama? Well, why else would we be here? Came looking for you. Well, let's just say there's folks back in Osaka who still don't buy that Kazuma Kiryu kicked the bucket. Why did you attack the docks last night? If Kazuma Kiryu's still breathing, that means somebody went through a whole mess of trouble to make it seem otherwise. Somebody who's got an in with the cops and the government. Who could pull off something like that in Hiroshima, where you supposedly died? The Daidoji faction was the first thing that came to mind. 
So we thought we'd try to nab that guy who looked like your handler. I wanted to squeeze some info out of him. If you were alive, and if so, where you were holed up? You were after Hanawa. Yep, so we pretended to be those terrorists and chatted up the Americans about smuggling gold. They must have been real suspicious of us. But that's nothing a nice fat commission can't fix. And sure enough, the CIA went straight to the Daidoji to get that job taken care of. That's what we had to go through just to make Typical you guys come Americans. out of the Oh dear. So, from the beginning, you expected the CIA to rely on the Daidoji for the smuggling. Yep. But when we saw you last night in the flesh, well, there was no need to bother with the other guy after that. Might as well make contact with you directly. That guy you didn't need to bother with has come to pick me up. Fine work as usual, Joryu. Defeating all your pursuers in one fell swoop. But I believe you said there would be no more than two. Hey, I still got the job done, didn't I? Indeed. But there may be more on the way. We should get out of here immediately. And you, mind introducing yourself? <laughs> He hasn't told me his name. Only that he's from the Omi Alliance. Then why don't we continue this conversation in the car? We'll have plenty of time to learn all we need. I see. So the Omi Alliance coordinated last night's attack in order to locate Kazuma Kira. <clears throat> yeah. Well, they tracked down the wrong person. They mistook me for this Kiryu guy. I wasn't born yesterday. <laughs> Look, I'm just trying to do the job they handed to me. How very interesting. I hope you know we won't let you go. Until you tell us who put you up to this. Hmm. Doing the interrogation all by yourself? Hanawa-san. <laughs> so what if I am? <laughs> because... That mean you're the only one stuck on Kiryu-san. Hmm. Sound about right. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Just what are you? I saw it all! That, that black van just ran right into that car! <laughs> Coming with us, Kiryu-san. As a matter of fact, you're gonna be giving us a little help. <clears throat> I'm not Kiryu. <clears throat> but if it's a fight you want, I'll give it to you. Now I hear you. Those Daidoji boys have got you tight by the balls, don't they? If you want, we can make them loosen that grip on you. You what? Shishido, deal with him. He's the only one from Daidoji here right now. You have no problem killing people, do you? What do you want from us? And what's your deal? Reduced to being Gaidoji's dog? Legendary dragon. My fucking ass! Hanawa, get out of here. You're just an obstacle to these guys. Yes. So it would seem. Shishido, 
Put the knives away. Wouldn't want to kill Kiryu-san. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. Then I'll just beat him half to death. If you're done running your mouth... Then come on! Let's see what you're made of. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> This one done, can't remember. So you're sticking to all these fancy new moves. I'll kill you, son. Leave that shit for judges and rules. The only winner out here is the one who walks away. If you want that to be you, then fucking kill me! You don't like being shown up then. That's fine. I can take you on any way you want. Still gonna beat you into submission though. Hmm. Gonna teach me a lesson? Just hope you got the moves to back it up. Whenever you're done talking, come find out. <laughs> School's out. Round two is on. Yeah. Come on. Never. Bring that good shit. <clears throat> Hold on, hold on. Rag though, I love it. Go ahead, pick it up. I don't mind. No rules in a fight to the death, right? Okay. Damn geezer. You think you've won? 
Enough! We're out of time! Kiryu-san, quit resisting and come with us. Or Hanama-san's a dead man. <sighs> May I say something? Spit it out. Joryu, listen to me very carefully. What's most important to you? Who do you want to protect more than anything? Think about that. And you'll know what you have to do right now. What I'm saying is... Don't worry about me. I'm a professional. It's my own error that got me into this. <laughs> Hanawa! Shut it, will ya? Shishio. What were you planning on doing with that knife? Don't forget why we're here. Get in. But... Captain, clearly we underestimated these guys. Hurry up and get in the damn car. Timothy Avant. It's a burner phone. Can't be traced. I'll contact you later. Let's try this again from the top, all right? But don't do anything stupid, or Hanao-san will be dead meat. He'll be sinking to the bottom of Yokohama Harbor before you can blink. What are you after? I want to have a nice long chat with you. Spend a lot of time and money for that. The details can wait. Cops will be here any minute. At least tell me your name. It's Suru. From the Omi Alliance's Watase family. Suru, so nice. The Watase family. You're well acquainted with our patriarch, yeah? Masaru Watase. He's the captain of the Omi Alliance. Which means he's top dog of the Yakuza world. I'm here because the patriarch needs your strength. Sorry for the trouble. I'll be out of here in a minute. Could I get a hand cleaning up? Oh, uh, sure. Just come right this way. Thanks. That was fun. Good as new. Sorry for the trouble. I owe you one. Oh, no skin off my back. But that was one nasty brawl you got yourself into. You and that other guy were really something. We were scared out of our wits. Right, guys? What is this place? A homeless camp. It's a haven for outcasts like us. Everyone who ends up living here has been through a whole lot. Take that tent over there. That guy was a nurse up until recently. Namba. In fact, he was treating a guy with a gunshot wound just Ichiban. a few days ago. A gunshot wound? Don't listen to him. This guy's always exaggerating shit. I'm not exaggerating. You saw him too. That Yakuza looking guy with scruffy hair. <laughs> He's still sleeping in there right now. Just keep your voice down. Oh shit. Look over there. You better get going. We won't tell the cops a thing. I don't want any trouble around here. Sounds good. Thanks. Right. That is where we are going to end this. I want, I'll pause it. Uh, thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.